Welcome back to the Sports Source. The segment brought to you by the Topoco Lodge. Great stuff going on up there all month long. On Saturday the 15th, they will have a moonrise hike that you can take part in. Then on the 16th, take Dad to the Topoco Tavern for Father's Day. Take Dad up there the whole weekend to the moonrise hike and lunch at the at the uh, Topoco Tavern. And the following weekend, it's a river release celebration. Uh, Topoco.com to learn more. They got a calendar there. They got pictures of their rooms. It is a great place to see. It's also a great place just to go dine, have a drink right by the Chiowa River. Topoco.com. All right. Philip Fulmer was asked by the Knoxville News Sentinel what he expects from year two of the Jeremy Pruitt era. His answer, I expect us to be better, certainly. And he expects to be better. I do believe that we'll be better. Would I love to sit here and say we're going to win 10 or 11? Absolutely. I'd love to say that. But that's up to everything falling right and kids coming through. Reactions? <laughs> I mean, that's the t typical. Boy, 10 or 11 yeah. things <laughs> falling right? Yeah. yeah. I mean, it's <laughs> like falling down your stairs with your good china and landing at the bottom and still have it in hand. <laughs> uh, you know, I mean, I, I, think, I think everybody will see, be able to define better. And it may not even be at the record. Will will fans' definition of better match Philip Fulmer's? No, no. <laughs> no it In will unison, not. I mean, I think I think Coach Fulmer understands where they're at, and it, it's not going to be ten or eleven. You have everything falling right. I'd like to get his de definition of everything falling right. Well, well, well you, I mean, technically. There are small baby steps you could take. You, yeah. you joke before yeah, the show. If, if you lose only five games by 25 <laughs> points or more. <laughs> technically, um, that's better. Yeah. That's technically better. Instead but of no, six. I think, I think you can be better and it not be reflected in something fans will like. I agree. I agree. I think you can be much closer in a lot of these games. Uh, I think you can be a lot more competitive and uh, – Maybe you win one more game this year, and people are going to say, well, that's not much better. But it's eh, better. That's better. Right. That's better. Thoughts? Yeah. They're, it, it's, I don't think it's going to be close. I think, like you said, Bob, uh, uh, Phil Fulmer has an understanding of where they are. And, yes, they should be better this year. But fans, I think, are going to want to go and make the jump from where they thought they should have been last year to where they already expected them to be. So, I don't. I think there's a couple of wins, easy difference between what the fans will expect or demand and, and Philip Fulmer. Well, if I ask you guys, what do you expect of Jeremy Pruitt in year two? What do you expect? Where are you setting the – what should the expectation be? Well, I think fans are going to look at it and say seven wins or more this year because of the lighter schedule that Tennessee faced, at least on paper going in compared to a year ago because Tennessee did go win at Auburn, but you get Mississippi State at home this year. So I think, I think fans are going to say you got to win at least seven games. I think, I think if Tennessee goes 6-6 six and six or worse, fans are no doubt going to be largely disappointed. But I, I think Philip Fulmer would be disappointed if they go 6-6 six and six or worse this year. I'm not saying that he would say depends that publicly. It depends on how you get there. Jeremy yeah. right. going to be disappointed if they go 6-6 six 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 or, or six worse. 6-6 gives you something that you can say, well, we're better because the record's better. And we're going to go to a bowl, I guess. Uh, yeah, but I mean, like Bob BYU says, is yeah, are you going to be more competitive? Right. That, that's to me, right. that's where it really translates to me. Yeah. You are, 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 closer yeah. against Georgia. Are, you, are those games over at halftime? Are you still in them midway through the fourth quarter? Well, you said last week, we ran through the schedule last week and we made our official predictions for the years. You said seven wins. You said seven, seven. wins. This is regular season. Six, six. Where are you? Regular uh, I, season. I think I said six. Okay. Well, you weren't on last week, but yeah. when you were at oh, home I'm sorry. watching. I, at the beginning of the offseason. Yeah. Oh, okay. When you were watching at home. Yeah. When you were watching at home. Like, <laughs> what did you home write down on your wipey <laughs> You screamed out. <laughs> yeah. Hush, Kelly. I say six. <laughs> um, what do you uh, – so should that be the expectation? What we expect? Should that be what fans expect? I mean, what is, where do you draw the line? If you, can, if you got Philip Fulmer – and did the lasso of truth, the Wonder Woman thing. Um, <laughs> where, where do you think he would say in terms of a number? Six? You I, know, I, I think I, seven. Seven? I, think, yeah. I, think I mean, BYU's coming seven. here instead of playing West Virginia. That's a huge difference in terms of what you're I agree, yeah. yeah. But, I mean, once again, I, I think there's an eyeball test that's not necessarily reflected in the win column. Yeah, okay. but I, I think the Florida game's big. You're going there. If, if you can make that a competitive one on the road, that, that would speak. Two year, last year, before the season, Jeremy Pruitt went to, I forget if it was a Rotary Club, one of the clubs in town, and he said that Philip Fulmer told him the coach of Tennessee is going to be judged on three games, Alabama, Florida, Georgia. Yeah. And that's a big ask to beat Georgia and Alabama, okay? But you did win at Auburn last year. Uh, you beat a Kentucky team that was their best in years. Um, 
But if you walk out of this 0 and 6 in your first two years, is that a disappointment or is that just the the lay of the land for what he inherited? Both. Disappointment and that you couldn't pull an upset. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, but 2020, yeah. you better not be 0 and 9. Better not be 0 and 9. Then yeah. the, the other disappointment is how much better Florida did record wise last year in the first year of a coaching change, and you didn't do quite as well. Oh, yeah. I mean, everybody forgets Florida was, there were a lot of people saying Tennessee should be better than Florida uh. last year. Tennessee and Florida are both going to be sucky this year, and then Florida goes out and wins 10 games. Exactly. But that's why I said go find a proven head coach, and that will help you in year one. Doesn't mean that Jeremy Pruitt isn't going to be better than Dan Mullen in the long run, but early on mm -hmm. it, it proved out uh, my theory, and I think a lot of people shared that theory, rather go get a proven head coach that knows what he's doing and is one at a place where you're not used to winning rather than somebody who's never done it before because then you got the learning curve. And I think that ties into this. But at any rate, when we come back, let's stick with the uh, quote thing. What is Jeremy Pruitt saying about his team this year? Well, pretty good things. How much stock should we put in his positivity? Come on back. <laughs> 